We're living in a time where society is in a constant state of flux. Order and discipline, they've taken a back seat. Acting on a whim is now seen as the cool thing to do. And the term man, it's been stripped of its weight, reduced to a mere label that's handed out without any real merit. Men from every corner of the globe are quick to claim the title, but few truly grasp what it means to bear it. The trials, the ambitions, the victories that make a man worthy of the title are dismissed as toxic masculinity or outdated. The result? You're likely to cross paths with men who are weak, submissive, and have no interest in growth or hard work. But you, my friend, you're different. You're here because you want to understand what it really takes to be a man. You're ready to dive into the deep end, to explore the true essence of manhood, and to learn how to embody these principles in your life. In this video, we are going to break down what it means to be a man and the steps you can take to live up to this title. Stick with me to the end, and I promise you'll walk away with a clear understanding of the masculine journey you're missing in your life, how to embark it, and the benefits it will bring to your life. So, are you ready to step up, brother? Are you ready to claim the title of man and all the strength, honor, and respect that comes with it? Number one, embrace the guardian within. Listen up, brother. Today's men, they're caught in a dream. A dream where they're the protector, the knight in shining armor. But here's the kicker. They're all talk, no action. They fantasize about being the hero, but when push comes to shove, they're the first ones to turn tail and run. This innate desire we men have to protect, to defend, it's not just some modern day fantasy. It's a primal instinct, a legacy left by our hunter-gatherer ancestors. Let me paint you a picture. Picture the men of old training day in and day out, arming themselves with weapons crafted with precision and care. They faced beasts that would make the bravest of us quiver, took hits that would bring us to our knees, and yet they stood their ground. Why? Because their people depended on them. They were the guardians, the protectors, and they took that role seriously. Now, you might be thinking, that was then, this is now. We don't need to fight beasts anymore. And you're right, brother, but that doesn't mean the role of the Guardian is obsolete. Far from it. In today's world, people are more fearful than ever. They're scared of the unknown the unseen threats that lurk in the shadows. And that's where you come in. It's time to step up, to fortify your body and mind, to embrace your role as a guardian, learn to fight, push your body to its limits, and always be ready for whatever life throws at you. Consider joining a martial arts club or hitting the gym. Not only will it help you physically, but it will also boost your discipline and confidence. Being a guardian is no easy task. It comes with its fair share of challenges, but trust me, brother, the rewards are worth it. So, what are you waiting for? The time to act is now. Embrace the guardian within and let your actions speak louder than your words. Number two, step up and lead. Today's men, they're followers, not leaders. From the moment they're born, 
They're led by the hand, by teachers, bosses, even their partners. But here's the hard truth. A man who can't lead is nothing more than a child. You see, without leadership, a man loses his strength, his masculinity. He becomes submissive, a puppet dancing to someone else's tune. Think about the great leaders of history. What did they all have in common? Dominance. They didn't bow down to challenges. They crushed them. They led their people to victory, to prosperity. A dominant man can't be controlled. And a man who can't be controlled is free. But today's men, they're shackled by society, forced into submission. When it's their turn to lead, they falter, passing the torch to whoever's nearby. So, how do you break these chains? How do you step up and lead? First, you need to learn to lead yourself. If you can't control your own actions, how can you expect to guide others? Start by embracing stoicism. Learn discipline. Arm yourself with knowledge and experience. Once you've mastered self-control, it's time to lead others. Take the initiative. Step up when others step back. It won't be easy, brother. Leadership is a heavy burden to bear. But trust me, the rewards are worth it. Number 3. Stand firm and unyielding. Emotions. In today's world, we are encouraged to express our feelings openly, to let our emotions guide our actions. But here's the hard truth. Unchecked emotions can make us weak, easily swayed and manipulated. Consider a man who is mentally robust, a man who has mastered his emotions. He's like a rock in the face of a storm, unyielding and steadfast. Challenges, hardships, even personal tragedies, he faces them all with a calm demeanor and a clear mind. He doesn't crumble under pressure. Instead, he stands firm, unwavering. This kind of strength, brother, it's magnetic. People are naturally drawn to it. They rely on these stoic men, trusting them with their problems, their fears. And the best part? This trust, this reliance, it benefits everyone involved. It creates a bond of respect and admiration, a connection that's hard to break. Strong men, men who can control their emotions and remain steady in the face of adversity, are needed now more than ever. If you can become one of these men, you'll earn the respect and admiration of those around you. You'll become a beacon of strength and stability in a world that's often chaotic and uncertain. But let me tell you, brother, it's not an easy path. It takes discipline, self-control, and a deep understanding of your own emotions. You need to learn from the stoic philosophers of old, those wise men who mastered the art of emotional stability. Men like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca. Study their teachings, understand their philosophies, and apply them in your daily life. And remember, life is full of challenges. Each one is an opportunity to grow, to become stronger. Embrace these opportunities, brother. Don't shy away from them. Face your problems head on. Don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Learn to separate your feelings from your actions. Learn to stand firm. Number four, care for those around you. In today's world, it seems like everyone is out for themselves. 
Individualism is the order of the day, and it's tearing our society apart. Ask a man if he's willing to be the sole provider of his family, and you'll likely get a resounding no. Selfishness has become the norm, and it's a disease that's eating away at the very fabric of our society. But a man who isn't generous, who isn't willing to share his resources, is a man who stands alone. He has no friends, no loved ones, no respect. Think back to the men of old, the providers who were the backbone of their communities. Their tireless efforts allowed their children to thrive, their wives to care for their families, their peers to live with less burden. These men weren't alone in their efforts. They were part of a community of men who helped each other, who shared their burdens. We can rebuild this world, brother. All it takes is a little kindness, a little compassion. After you finish watching this video, reach out to a friend or a family member. Ask them how they're doing. If there's anything you can do to help, it might not seem like much, but it's a step in the right direction. Start learning how to make money. Read books about business. Build wealth. Not for yourself, but to share with your loved ones. There's nothing more rewarding than knowing that your efforts are appreciated, that you're making a difference in the lives of those around you. And finally, number five, be a beacon. Let's talk about being an example. Look around you. Do you see men who inspire you? Or do you see men who are lost, caught up in the pursuit of instant gratification, wasting their precious time? Time, brother. It is the one thing that sets men apart. Use it wisely, and you'll become a beacon of inspiration. Waste it, and you'll fade into obscurity. The world is full of examples of men who use their time wisely, who worked hard to elevate their lives to such a level that they became role models. Men of the past who fought against the world and emerged victorious. You, brother, can be one of them, but it requires effort. It requires you to step away from distractions like YouTube, porn, and video games, which fire your dopamine system, making you a zombie, and then dedicate yourself to something meaningful, something that can change the world. Are you ready to inspire others with your actions? By the way, don't forget to show some love. Tap that subscribe button, hit like for the algorithm, to see the next best way to level up as a man, check these videos here.